Not on uh, Islam and everything, because it's the last religion. So if it's the, if it's the last true religion on the planet, then it has to be the correct one. Because I don't think how any is other, it the last one? It's the last religion because no other religion has boundaries which they enforce. If you stand, if you will tolerate everything, then you stand for nothing. If your book says X, but you refuse to say the book says this, I'm sick to what the book says. Interpret the Bible. You're saying like they like pick and choose what they want to. Oh yeah, stick they'll, with, yeah they'll try and say I interpret it differently. I believe in God, but you know I don't believe in that part. That that's not what the book says. It doesn't seem ignore, it doesn't say ignore half of me. It says, follow me. No, Only yeah. Muslims follow their book. No, true. No, true. So yeah, they're yeah. the last religion. There are a lot of Muslims that don't follow the Quran too, there's, though. I'm sure, there's, I'm sure there's a lot of Muslims who don't completely follow the Quran. But I'm saying that if you were to go out there and try and find Muslims who live true to the Quran completely, you can find them. You're not going to find a, a Muslim slut. Like, that's right. Like a, a woman that's a Muslim that's a Bro, slut. Bro, you put Muslim sluts out there. There's I'm sure there are. But I'm saying, he's, the point he's making is you can find a bunch of women who adhere to Islam who are still virgins to the age of 25 waiting for an enraged marriage. Oh, yeah. 100%. You will not find that under Christianity. 100%. The problem is with religion is that it naturally needs to be intolerant for a religion to be a religion which is respected it needs to be intolerant of certain things yeah, but you can't say we're a religion which tolerates everything now you have no belief systems but when was that book written you know it does yeah completely but the world evolves so. completely so christianity has evolved into nothing islam <laughs> hasn't this is the point i'm making the point i'm making is if you're going to throw your own rules away you can't stand up and say this is a religion these are our doctrines but we tolerate everything and we don't punish anyone for anything and none of it really matters are you a Christian? Well, it's different with Islam. With Islam, you can't get away with it. Even if you're saying that there's some Islam sluts, etc., etc., fine, that's cool. That's but people don't stand up and openly disrespect Islam. Oh, hell no. Because they're afraid. So, once again, if you don't have rule systems and doctrines and beliefs and prophets, which people are afraid to mock, are you even a religion? People won't disrespect Islam. Nobody will disrespect it because they're scared. Even in a Christian country, what do you, you mean by dis What do you mean by disrespect? I mean, uh, disrespect it. Say something. Disrespect it. I, you can walk around. If you could wear a t-shirt saying Jesus is gay, right here in Croatia, a Christian country, and you will make it out of the country alive. I dare you to do the same thing with the Islamic prophet. Like, yeah, I Kyle. dare you to do the same thing. Kyle. You right. wouldn't make it out of a Christian country alive, an Islamic country alive. Even in Christian countries, you are not safe to do that. You do not disrespect their beliefs. Yeah, disrespecting our lies. No, you don't do that. Yeah, you don't. Uh, Nobody does. So what I'm saying I see is, what you mean. I see if they're the last religion on earth that people are afraid to disrespect, if their God is the last God on earth that people are afraid to disrespect, then he's the only God that matters. If every other God can be mocked, laughed at, put in video games and fucking shot at, stupid shit, dressed up gay on TV shows, da-da, ha-ha-ha-ha. What kind of fucking, what kind of religion is that? It's a joke. Yeah.